Good afternoon, Spartans. So you're looking at the completed beach ball. Uh, let me see if I can get a preview. There we go. And I made a video for this. But this is part two. And I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the instance from the library. And let's go to library. And there's my ball. First thing I'm going to do, though, is add another layer, call it ball2. And I'm going to add another layer, call it shadow2. So in this second part video, I'm going to show you how to bounce another ball uh, with a different bounce rate. Okay. Now you're going to need two for the requirement, but I'm only going to show you one. Um, the third one that you do will use the same principles. So just if you understand ball two, you should be able to do ball three. Just remember, we're going to add different keyframes. Okay. So there's ball two. I'm going to go ahead and lock shadow two temporarily. I'm going to bring in ball two right now. Part of that requirement will be to resize it. So I'll do that right now. Always resize the second ball and the third ball before you keyframe. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem and you're going to end up having to change all the different keyframes. So do it first, first thing. So you're going to go into color effect, go to tint, and adjust the color. Remember, tint should be around 50% or lower. Okay? And let's see, more red. There, good one. All right, now, just to review, the first ball gets its height at 15. That's half the frames. Then it comes back down on 30, and then it compresses. So these two frames show the hitting the ground again and then compressing. Okay? I'm going to take our new ball here, and I'm going to have it bounce twice while the bigger ball bounces only once. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm going to drag this ball to 5. That's going to be when it gets all the way up to the top, or it's going to be at its highest point. I'm going to turn off the visibility of ball 1 and the shadow, just so we can focus on this newer ball. So I'm going to put it up here. Now, I'm going to go back to 1 and hold down Alt and I'm going to drag this one to copy it. I'm going to put it on 10. Okay. The goal here is to have these spacings to be the same. The in between. The 1 and the 5 and the 5 and the 10. I'm going to take 5 now and I'm hold down Alt and I'm going to drag that 10 to the 15. Then I'm going to drag that and bring it to the 25. I'm going to go to 10, hold down Alt, and drag it to the 20. So here's what we have. We got 1 on the ground, 5 up top, 10 on the ground, 15 up top, 20 on the ground, 25 up top. So I'm going to take 20, do the same thing. Copy it, put it to 30. Okay? So 1, 10, 20, and 30 are identical. Well, I'm going to do that uh, with 5. 5, 15, and 25. Okay? Now, I do want to copy 10 and bring it to 11 because that's the point where it compresses. So I'm going to hold down Alt, bring it down, then I'm going to hold down Shift and bring it out slightly. So 10 and 11, just like that. Now I'm also going to copy 11, so I'm going to hold down Alt, put it on 11, uh, 21 rather, and then I'm going to hold down Alt and drag that to 31. Now I'm going to put my cursor somewhere in between 1 and 5, and I'm going to drag all the way to oh, about 27. I'm going to right click and create classic tween. So this is what I got. And I'll play my movie. And looks good. Now I do need the eases, so I'm going to go to that first set between 1 and 5, 
give it a hundred out and then I'm gonna go to five to ten and I'm gonna ease it in minus a hundred and I'm just gonna keep going back and forth hundred minus a hundred positive a hundred minus a hundred does that make sense let's see how that looks looks good now you notice it's bouncing faster that's the bounce rate difference so it's bouncing three times for every one time of this larger ball okay I'm gonna unlock the shadow I'm gonna lock the ball too so nothing comes into contact I'm gonna go to my library and let me reset classic so I can get my uh, library I do not see my library there there's my library okay so I'm gonna bring out shadow and not yet, I'm going to go to first frame. Don't forget, first frame. Bring in the shadow. I'm going to place it right under the ball. Okay? Now I'm going to zoom in so we can see it better. And I'm just going to use my arrows and nudge it over. It looks to be about center. Now, this is really easy too. So I'm going to hold down Alt and just start dragging. Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to bring this over to 10. So 1 sorry for the bell 20 and 30 are identical now I'm also going to hold down alt and bring it to the 5 but now this time I'm going to spread it out a little bit and I'm going to lower the alpha and did that make sense let's see try that again and let's try that again. Where's the property? Oh yeah, click on the stage, lower the alpha. I changed the alpha, but I didn't lower it. So I'm going to bring it to 28, we'll say. Looks good. Now I'm going to hold down Alt, copy that over to the 15, and to the 25. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show the compression of, this, of the shadow. So I'm going to hold down Alt, and bring it to to the 11, hold down shift, spread it out slightly, and then I'm going to hold down alt, bring it to 21, and to 31. I'm going to then highlight and right click, create classic tween, then I'm going to go ahead and do my easing. you got to ease the shadow as well. So I'm going to do minus 100, positive 100, minus 100, so it's easing out and easing in, just like the ball. Okay, let's see what we got. Command return or control return. And that's it. So you get that second ball going. Um, add that third ball. Do your best. You should be able to do it as long as you understand everything that I did. Okay, thanks for watching.